Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hi everybody, welcome. Uh, Monday morning, I'm just about to clear my bench and I thought I would do a quick update on what I've done over the weekend in the hangout. Not a great deal uh, on the actual build itself. Uh, if I go around this way, I'll go around this way. On the actual build, all I've done is I've finished the rebar off on the beams, got them done, so that's all done. The actual build really is finished. I've now just got to start putting the hardcore and uh, getting it all look like it's been hit by a shell or a rocket or a bomb or whatever. The weekend was mainly spent uh, starting, well, I had to start the I was about to call it a crusader then for some strange reason i don't know the reason why i was going to call it the warrior now this is the kit that my good friend bees beasley sent me a uh, beautiful little kit it's going together lovely so far now i decided that i want the back door open as you can probably see the back door and i thought to myself well i'll get an interior for it and i went looking for an interior for the warrior and they came in at 65, nearly 70 pound for an interior, a resin interior. And I weren't gonna pay that because uh, it was a full interior turret, driver's compartment and rear compartment. And I only wanted the back end open. So the weekend was spent, if I can get that into the light there. The weekend was spent and I will try and get you in a bit closer. Just bear with me a second. So I spent the weekend uh, doing a bit of scratch building, got some pictures, uh, the best ones I could. I'm not 100% politically correct inside there, but it's a good representation of the inside uh, because you're not gonna see a great deal of it because we are gonna have troops. Hopefully I'm gonna have one just sort of coming out the door. So the bulk of it will be uh, blocked off, but I still wanted something in the background uh, to indicate that there is an actual interior. So I've done a bit of scratch building, been through the uh, spares box and got all my bits and pieces and I've kept it as politically correct as I possibly can. Uh, I have done quite a few pictures as I was building it so I will tag them on straight after this so you can have a look and some close-up ones now it's uh, well it's weathered it's had a bit of weathering doing done to it it still needs dust and dirt but that all comes later when I'm, I'm finishing all off so quite happy with that it was a good two evenings of work and uh, yeah well that's it that's about as much as I can say about the interior you can have a look yourself what I did on the pictures now another thing that I want to do on this is actually put, we'll just take you back out again because uh, you're a bit closer, uh, is put some actual slat armour on it. Yet again, we all went uh, hunting for slat armour aftermarket, uh, somewhere on the 75, well, anywhere between 65 and 75 uh, pound for the slat armour. And yet again, I'm not gonna pay that sort of money for a few pieces of metal uh, so actually bees we've come up with this uh, idea bees came up with it Bees suggested it and we're gonna I'm gonna run with this idea now I'm not going to tell you what the art uh, the idea is because if it doesn't work out properly I don't want to sort of uh, tell people and people go out and get it and it don't work but we've got this idea of making up the slat armor uh, by using another, another kit so I've already ordered the kit it's on its way so hopefully I should have that sometime this week and then I can do some working out on how we're actually gonna readapt uh, the slat armor from one kit to this one so I will be keeping uh, updates on that as I'm building it I will keep a log on it as well uh, so uh, if you are 
wanting to put uh, slat armor on it and you don't want to pay 70 80 quid and you just want to pay about 20 quid which is what it, this works out at uh, and if it all works and it looks good it's going to be a, a viable proposition so just keep your uh, well just stay tuned for these updates because I will show you how it goes and what happens even if it if you, even if it goes wrong I'll, sh I'll still show you uh, because uh, if I show you what goes wrong you might even see what went wrong and be able to redo it yourself so that is roughly it on uh, this update uh, I know it's a, a quick one there's not much to look at but there's plenty of pictures of the uh, built interior and I'm just going to say thank you and hopefully we'll see you on the next one Let's begin first.